Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Today is the big day, the grand opening day. It's Saturday, it's beautiful outside. There's no snow yet, thankfully. Thank you, Canada, for not snowing on our grand opening. And I don't know, I don't know if I'm nervous or excited or what, but this has been a long time coming. Um, I mean, we've been in business for a few years, but today is the day that we reopen and show people all this hard work and the effort we put into the new space. I'm going in extra early though to get some stuff set up. I still have some work to do before everybody comes in. So follow along on today's episode as we do our grand opening at the new location. It's quiet right now. I got here about an hour and a half before the store opens because I wanted to get a few little snacks set up, make sure all the lights were on, everything was working, maybe sweep the store. Melissa's getting the kids ready and they're gonna be coming in a little while too. And I'll give all the kids a little job to do around the store. I don't know what to expect really. It's kind of like when we did the auction at the Potter's House. You just don't really know who's going to show up and 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 what quantity. <laughs> so we're more or less prepared, I think, for whatever might come our way. But um, only time will tell. I've got a little bit of cleaning and sorting to do and some other special stock that I brought in to put away. Though we did quite a few auctions and got rid of the majority of Mary's pottery, I kept back what were some of her more signature and what were some of her more amazing pieces. And I finally decided to bring these pieces into the store. The glaze and finish and the quality of these were far and above, I think, some of the best that I had found in the house. And now's the time to put them out at the shop. And guess what just showed up at the door this morning? Somebody sent us flowers from a company called Awesome Blossom. <laughs> That's super kind. I'm gonna read the card and see who it's from. Let's see, this beautiful little bouquet comes from Congrats on the grand opening from a viewer in California. I see they're, they're mysterious, but thank you so much, mysterious viewer in California. And we also had one that came from a Dan Miller, from DG Mills, Dan Miller. And if a person just watched the news, you might forget that there's a lot of really great, decent people out there in the world. And there's a lot of wonder and amazement and beautiful things that come every single day. I'm thankful for it. And thank you guys so much for the beautiful flowers. We'll have them proudly on display here today. And it looks like I also got some mail today too from all over the place. From the United Kingdom to, well, here in town and Tacoma, Washington, from all over the place. It's really great to see people send me a slider. So I'm gonna have to open these and put these out. <laughs> and I think I've got just a nice little spot for these in the kitchen. So when people come to get their snacks and goodies, they'll have a spot to see all those. So thank you everyone for sending the great wishes from all around the world today. And uh, let's see, just another oh, 45 minutes or so and I open up. Hopefully Melissa and the kids get here. We are about 10, 15 minutes away from opening the doors and I had a knock on the door and this fellow here with his young daughter, uh, Evan, and you said your dad watches the show? He's a very big fan of yours. He uh, actually turned me on to your, your channel, so. And uh, your dad's out in Cochrane, Alberta? No, he's actually in Okotoks. Okotoks, right? Okotoks. okay, Okotoks. great. And he said something long for us. He did, he actually, Gave us this. Awesome, some cool custom magazines from the 1970s. Uh, I think the oldest one is in, in, the, in 63. 63, remember. yeah. And you know, there's lots of guys that like these old car magazines and stuff because they're just really fun to read and you get an idea for what you could do. There's old, uh, I said Ford Prefect, I think. And yeah, all kinds of neat stuff. Well, that's really cool. So uh, maybe he'll watch this episode. So I'll have to say thank you, Tom, for sending out the cool magazines. And thank you for dropping by this morning too. I, Grandpa. Say, I love you, Grandpa. Love you, Grandpa. We are just minutes away from opening. And it's the big day. Hi. Hey, hey look who's here. Hey. Hey, I know these guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, you know. You know, just hanging around. I thought we'd come hang out for six hours. I thought you were bringing your hot date, Dakota. What happened? I was going to, and then she had to work today, so. Uh. 
Yeah, bummer. I was I was like, hey, you want to come to the grand opening? She was like, yeah, okay. I was like, there's a chance that you might get filmed. Are you okay with that? She was like, uh. Oh, and then she like, yeah, I'll take that extra shift to work. <laughs> she was like, oh, I got to work, by the way. So but, we're, uh, yeah, going to be minutes away from opening. So you guys have to have a look around. You haven't seen it since no. we uh, got it more or less set up. I haven't seen it. Oh, I haven't seen this. Whoa. No, I put the oh. canoe back up. What? Yeah. That's a light fixture? Yeah, well, I had that at the old store. No way. I yeah, remember that. I know. See? It looks better here. That looks so good there. Oh, I dig it. Looking good. Yeah, I gotta got show you guys around. Got your ladder. Yeah, Did you always ladder. Have that or what? Uh, yeah, you got. Uh, Josh put that up at the old store, and I just moved it over. Right, right, right. Ten minutes at open time. We've been visiting with Josh and Dakota. Melissa's helping out too. The kids are here. Uh, we need to make sure the store is swept and ready. I'm gonna go out front and uh, do a little meet and greet with the folks that are waiting outside. So we've got a few folks out here first thing. So you are not from Edmonton. Where about no. you from? I'm from uh, outside of Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Yes. Well, that's that's quite a trip. Thank you for coming to visit. You've got some friends in Calgary from the looks of things. Yeah, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so even that, uh, Calgary is not even all that close. That's three hours from here. It is, yeah. Wow. Well, I think so far you're winning uh, distance of the day today. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys watch the channel down there? And... Yes, we've been watching it almost some, since the beginning. Okay, great. Okay. Well, I'm excited to show you around all the work that's been done. And Josh and Dakota are inside wandering awesome. about too so you get to meet the whole crew awesome. great and my aunt janice is here you might remember her from the potter's house she was the one who drove all the way out there just to help me trim some hedges <laughs> then headed back home like an hour later <laughs> but so nice of you guys to come and my uncle rick who's here too and then i recognize you guys you were in an episode a few episodes ago you bought mr robert bailey's painting yeah, we're not we're not here for the fame we're here for the stuff inside actually. oh the stuff inside okay well welcome back i actually had a message from mr bailey this morning wishing us a happy grand opening well marvelous sir thank you <laughs> wonderful okay well we're getting a little bit of a crowd started this morning here <laughs> okay guys uh so we are gonna let the folks in pretty soon it's not a, a massive crowd mind you there's a lot of people parking right now so let me hit the open sign Boop. And we'll let some folks in. All right, come on in, guys. <laughs> Welcome. There we go. Good morning. Anyway, yeah, we, brought we this, even had brought Tim Hortons thing. Donut show up. Yes, exactly. We watch your show on YouTube uh, religiously. Uh, yeah, well, we're watching everything going on here. This is awesome. We just live five blocks away. This is great for the community. Nice, beautiful story. Brought some heritage back to the community. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm Fantastic. so glad. And you brought me the most Canadian donut of them all. <laughs> exactly, Jerry. <Jared. laughs> Okay, so you guys, I think, have won official longest distance travel today. Whereabouts are you from? Uh, I'm from the UK. Which Bur part of the UK? Bur Birmingham. Birmingham, okay. Yes, happening in the center. Well, wonderful. I'm so pleased you guys came out to visit us today. Hopefully you enjoy walking around the store and maybe you'll see some things you've never seen before. Uh, yeah, well, I've followed the channel since the Potter's house. The Potter's I can't even remember how I found the channel. I was looking for something else. Stumbled across it, followed the Potter's house, and then after this, and the I said to us, still wondering what's happening with that. Oh, I was working on a video yesterday. All right, okay. <laughs> Lots to come. And I brought in some special pottery from the potter's house this morning just for today. Oh, that's good. So I'll show it to you. Yeah. Well, it's starting to fill up in here. We have a really good turnout. There's people from all over the place that are here today. From Birmingham, England, down through Nebraska, from parts of British Columbia, all over Canada. Uh, it's surprising what the reach was, but it's a hopping place right now. And I'm just kind of going around and saying hi to folks and make them feel at home. And Sean, you're looking like the fifth member of the Beach Boys here today. You're, yeah, you're rocking that Pet Sounds look today. Look. It is the look. look of the day. And we should have uh, our mutual friend Jamie coming by at some yeah, point today. Yeah, to see old Jamie. Yeah, yeah I think he's going to play some music for us too. Yeah, even more to look forward to. Absolutely. <laughs> I was going to say, that girl looks familiar. I said I was saying she has the same coat as my daughter, but then I looked, it actually is my daughter. <laughs> it is Abigail. It is actually getting fairly busy in here. There's not too much for walking room, and I think people are already lingering and walking away through the back, too. Uh, so Steven, your mouth seems full. I see you're doing a good job of guarding all the snacks and goodies back here. And Abigail. <laughs> Let's see what's happening in the back room. Well, we got quite the crowd. I'm glad that I did these little roundabout walkways so you can get people walking in the circle around here. 
all kinds of activity. Apparently that's an exciting corner of the room. <laughs> We've been open now uh, only 35 minutes, but it's been absolutely packed in here the entire time. It's been fantastic. People are having fun. They're visiting. They're shopping. Um, it's pretty much everything I would have uh, dreamt it to be. A busy hopping, happening store with lots of fun and activity, and people seem to be having a good time. One. They were, and so what What did you find? This one, Edward the Eighth. And what's interesting about that is that he wasn't really ever I king. know, I know, which is, yeah, so this is good. Yeah. I, kept, I got a lot of uh, royal yeah, yeah. stuff and, like this. And now you've got and one more. Got, uh, this is my best one. Well, thank you for coming in to see us today. Okay, thank you. Okay. This looks like a tough decision. You've been eyeing up that Winnebago now for a couple minutes. But you have a good collection of 24 scale plastic model kits, right? Too many. Too many. And you're thinking, we were talking about this earlier, Winnebago, little race car hauler on the back, maybe a drag car or a stock car or something on the back? Yeah. Yeah, that'd drag be pretty, car. that'd be pretty sweet. Well, I guess we'll have to see how that goes. How's the uh, Dakota counter going over here? Awesome. How many people I've already talked to and like they've actually sat, or not sat down, but like they just chilled with me for like 20 minutes at a time. I know, yeah, it's been talking. great. That's because awesome. you're famous. You're the famous Dakota. Yeah. You gotta check out, you gotta be uh, into the madness. Into the madness, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because like they're they're saying that they've watched all my stuff and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a little kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it feels great. We're all like little kids. Though. Yeah, I know, it's so good. Oh, I love this. And that wandering musician going through my store is a former owner of this building, Jamie, who's offered to come in today to play some music for us. We're going to uh, get him set up and situated with an amplifier and uh, hear some music. I hear the sound of a banjo being gently played. My friend Harry has dropped by and he brought, usually you work on bigger bikes than this, Harry. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we well, better hope that, uh, I guess they wash that seat off before you put it up against your ear. Yeah. Oh yeah, old fashioned phone, cool. You know, I was Hello. looking for one of those so badly when I was working on that Airstream trailer. Why? Because I wanted an old fashioned phone in the Airstream. We had the local news come by, do a little story on us. They're getting set up and doing some interviews with some customers. Just a lot of exciting activity happening around the shop today. And it's still super busy. People mingling and looking all around. The guys are all hanging out, having fun. You gonna start singing, Josh? Dude, if I could sing, I would be rocking out right now. I wish I could sing. Uh, Dakota's willing to try. Hey man, if it means that these customers are happy, I'll do it. <laughs> what, what you got? What do you want to sing? The question isn't what do I want to sing, it's what do I have to sing. <laughs> we even had a few old cars show up in the shop today. As soon as I saw him driving down the street, I knew he was for me. So there's one person whose opinion probably matters the most to me over this whole thing, and that's Mr. Jamie here, who is kind enough to play for. So what do you think of your old store? Oh my goodness, 
it's so great. <laughs> it's just, Alex, it's beyond belief, man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's come, it, it's so different. And you know, you've had the building, what was 17 years or so? Yeah, I think it's more like 15, but you know, a long time already. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's miraculous what you've done here. Well, it's, it's so incredible. You and Brenda did such a great job uh, getting uh, the bones set up and everything ready. And uh, you know, we just love the building and we try to carry some of your love forward with it. But I appreciate you coming to play today. Oh, it was a pleasure. And I'll do it again. I'll oh, do it again. I, I sure hope so. Yeah, absolutely. It has been nuts all yeah. day today. We were not expecting the turnout. I think we've had hundreds and hundreds of people come through the store today. Um, it's just uh, amazing that after all this hard work and effort, it's you know finally come to this and the store is open. And we've got about another hour left to go. Sean is here working the till and we still have people that are kind of filtering through. As you can see, Melissa and I are out front talking and there's still customers coming in. We close in about an hour's time. So just uh, amazing turnout. Thank you for all of you for watching and uh, following along in this adventure. And for those of you that appeared on camera today to be interviewed, thank you for being brave. And what did you think about today? It was amazing. It really, I say it all the time that everybody feels like family, but it really did feel like, I, I don't know, like a really awesome part of your family. <laughs> yeah, they all get to know us a little bit because of the YouTube series, but um, we all have a lot of things in common. We like antiques or interesting items, so it's easy to get along with people. But um, a fun day and a busy day. And it seems as is tradition with having a store like this, people show up with interesting things for sale. And that's the case right now. Let me show you what just walked in the door on my grand opening day. So the store is bustling right now. And kids are testing out the pop guns. And I had a fellow come in with a box of cards, but these aren't just your average cards. These are the, I believe they're 1935 Mickey Mouse trading cards that were sold from Opeachy, Canada. These are extremely rare, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's pretty well the whole set in here. I'm gonna have to go through this box and see, but that's not all that was in there. There's Tarzan, there's uh, Calls to the Battlefront. It's a really interesting box of 1930s trading cards that you just don't find that often. So I was really impressed to find this coming through the door here today. Freedom's War. Very neat set. The same person also had this massive Underwood typewriter. This is not your average typewriter. This would have been for newsprint or something really big. Uh, it's more of a professional series. Uh, you'd never see this sort of thing around. Plus, I got another big little book of Tarzan. We've got a 1934 Hershey's cookbook. And you might think, well, why did he buy this little jewelry box? Well, that's because this is an original box for a Rolex Oyster. The boxes themselves can be very collectible and having the box adds great value to your watch. Some really stunning finds on our first day open at the store, a sign of things to come. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, guys. Stay tuned for more adventures as we continue on with um, future projects around the store. We get into uh, doing some renos at our own place and all sorts of other things. So watch more videos, subscribe, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.